Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. Now today we're doing something special, something that we've never done on this channel before, and that is rehousing a couple of tarantulas. As you know at my store, I have lots and lots of different tarantulas and spiders and you know it I, I love just the variety of all the different colors and variations and uh, genus and all that and so and we've actually got some really cool ones one that i've wanted for a very long time and we have three different ones that need rehouse today so we're going to walk you through step by step on how to do that and what we're going to do with them so here we go all right guys, so uh, for two of the species that we're doing, um, this is the microhabitat that we're doing. They're obviously not big enough for a bigger enclosure, but uh, this is a four inch by four inch by eight inch. And the ones that we're actually rehousing is A, we have an adult female uh, regal jumping spider. We'll get some closer pictures and then the other one is a Goody Setfire Metallica, uh, also known as a, I don't want to slaughter this name here, the Pokeotheria Metallica. So we actually have two bigger ones up here um, that we actually rehoused. But, and then the other one, he's over here, he's actually a Red Knee. And I'll put the scientific names for all three of these down uh, below here in the video. But so we have these uh, two enclosures already built. We're actually going to use a substrate that I actually just made. Um, it's a mixture of reptobarg, uh, sphagnumos, reptosoil, cocoa husk, um, and a couple other different things. Um, you can see I actually got a big blend of it. It has leaf litter and moss and it's a really good combination and it's going to hold humidity very well for these guys. So without further ado, uh, I'm not going to talk much through this. I, I might periodically say what we're doing here, but hope you enjoy the uh, show here. All right guys, so as you can see, uh, we got some cork and some driftwood. Sorry, I have customers in here. Uh, we have some live plants and the spider that is actually going in here is the female regal jumping spider. My girlfriend is helping me. Those aren't my fabulous nails. Can you see? Oh, she just jumped. Let's see if we can get some better shots of her. Okay, we'll focus. There she is. I the wrong lens on here for this. But I'll take some uh, uh, high quality pictures of these guys. Yeah, there's one down. These are very nice because you can put them up on uh, the shelf and they got plenty of ventilation. Uh, they go together very easily. The only thing I don't like about them is the thing she's fighting with right now and it's the little lock on the top. But there it is. That one is all done and she's going to explore and have fun. So on to number two. Alright guys, you can see uh, my girl got the second enclosure all set up. We have cork and we have vining plants. We don't know how well the vining plants are going to take on. Um, they were trimmings from our big tank over here, but from what we've been told, if you do trimmings, they don't last, so we'll see. 
Um, and you may ask, well, why don't you just put fake plants? Well, I don't like the way fake plants look. I like live plants. And it's what's going to be more natural for the spider or the tarantula. So, without further ado, the one that kind of scares me because it's very, very quick, and we already had issues rehousing one of the other ones. So, here we go. We're going to jump into moving it out of. So, remember, this is the Goody Sapphire Metallica, also known as the Poke Pokeotheria Metallica. So essentially we're just slowly moving out the little piece of cork and hoping that he will just easily, I think, we actually think this is a female. Oh, there it is. You see it? What's he gonna do? I'm sorry about, I got the glare from the windows. So I'm trying to keep it right, but you can see him right there on the bottom. He's branching off. Ah, there she goes. She did very well. And the transfer to her new enclosure where she's going to get much, much bigger. And I can't wait to see her when she's all full grown. Um, let's see if we can get a shot of her. She blends in so well. Um, but you can kind of see her. She's right there on the back of the cork, but I will get some more high-res pictures for you. So, two down. On to number three. Now, number three is already uh, it had a jumping spider in it before. Uh, it passed away to eight due to age um, as they only live a couple of years so uh, we're just gonna redesign this one and then we're gonna move the red knee you can see him he's right here in the corner he's gonna get a new home um, so we do have two arboreal and one terrestrial so done with the arboreals onto the terrestrial Alright guys, uh, we're getting ready to move the red knee over to this new enclosure. You can see it's got a nice little hide here. Uh, we got the mixture, we have a pothos plant in here. Uh, we're just stripping out everything from its other enclosure. That way it has a nice easy transition. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Buddy, you're going the wrong way. Get your back legs off. He's like, no, I want to hang on. Alright guys, so, successfully rehoused three different well, two tarantulas and a spider. Um, and I will make sure to add all their names and scientific names down in uh, the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more videos like this, uh, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, also, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash that like button. Drop a comment down below on which one of these guys is your favorite. Uh, mine's definitely the... Uh, Pokeotheria Metallica. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. I'm really bad with scientific names, but since everybody refers to tarantulas by their scientific names, I am trying my best. So, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, 
as always guys your tank or mine <laughs>